There's another important concept that you might have already seen in the Active Directory and that's often confused with groups or folders, the organizational units. Remember when I showed you the domain controllers, this has a different icon, it's something special. And moving objects between organizational units, they can have an impact on these objects. Now some people are confused by this concept of user groups and organizational units. When do you use what? Well, I always try to remember it like this. If you're managing file permissions because you want to give a group of users access to certain files or resources, you should use a group. But if you would like to organize your Active Directory, maybe you have a large company and you need to structure it in different sections like departments or buildings whatsoever, then use an organizational unit. The organizational units are also a great way to create and assign group policies and this is absolutely one of my most favorite features in an Active Directory because group policies, they are so powerful. They can control nearly all settings on Windows PCs remotely and specify very explicitly what a user is allowed to configure on a PC or how specific settings are configured.